What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be a quick one, but a tasty one, I promise. I was actually not planning on sharing this cocktail on YouTube, or well, not this week at least, because the drink was supposed to be posted only on Instagram. I was given the task by a gin company to create a drink with their gin that had some spring vibes, so I made a riff on the Enzoni. And to be honest, I believe the drink is so good, and I thought it would be for the greater good to share it here as well. So here we are, I pushed my posting schedule to make some room for this drink today. I hope you're gonna like it. So so without further ado, if you guys are ready, let's go. Alright, so the Enzoni gained a lot of popularity within the cocktail community in the past couple of years and it's a tasty mashup between a gin sour and a Negroni. It's made out of gin, Campari, lemon, simple syrup and fresh grapes. So here to give it some spring vibes, I replaced the grapes by some strawberry flavors and made it fruity like a sour would be. I called it the Ensolegiato, which means sunny in Italian, I'm really not sure about the pronunciation, but I needed an Italian name to make a riff on the Enzoni. So to make the cocktail, we're gonna need some dry gin, Campari, fresh strawberries, simple syrup, strawberry shrub, lime juice, and an egg white. In terms of the gin, I believe this cocktail is pretty forgiving. I'm using Impress today because I love how it plays in this drink, but you can use a regular London Dry or a Citrus Ford Dry Gin. It's gonna work as well. For the Strawberry Shrub, if you don't know how to make this, it's very straightforward, super simple. I've already covered that before in the channel. I'm gonna link the video up here. So now, let's build. So first in our shaker, we're gonna add about two large strawberries in slices or small pieces. And then with a modeler, we're gonna squish them to make kind of a strawberry puree. Then we're gonna add our gin. We're gonna need one ounce of it. One ounce of Campari. Three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Half an ounce of simple syrup. Quarter of an ounce of strawberry shrub. I didn't say it before, I believe the strawberry shrub makes a beautiful difference, but it's also kind of optional. So if you don't want to go through the process of making it, don't let this stop you from making the drink. It's going to be tasty nonetheless. Lastly, we're going to add our egg white, especially when there's a lot of fruits or herbs. I like to do a reverse dry shake for my sour, but this is completely up to you. So I'm going to fill my shaker with ice and shake it vigorously for about 10 seconds. Gonna strain the cocktail in my small shaker tin. Dump the ice and shake it again for about 10 seconds. Then we're gonna fine strain this in our favorite cocktail coupe. For the garnish, when I posted the video on Instagram, I had some dehydrated strawberry powder that I made out of the strawberries I used to infuse my mezcal for the Polar Bloom from last week's video. So you can totally do that. It's very simple to make and it makes a great garnish. You simply place your slice of strawberries on top of a parchment paper, throw that in the oven at the lowest setting possible until fully dehydrated, and then you grind them with a spice grinder or with a mortar and pestle and use a fine mesh strainer to dust some on top of your cocktail. I finished mine, so I'm simply gonna garnish this with a little piece of strawberry. And there you have it, the Enselegato. Cheers. Mm. The strawberry flavor with the Campari is just a match made in heaven. I've said that countless times on the channel, but it's true, it just works. We get that beautiful kick of bitterness that's smoothened by the fruitiness of the strawberries. The gin adds strength to the cocktail and some complexity. It's a beautiful balance between sweetness, tartness, strength, and bitterness. I love this cocktail. It has some strong spring vibes, but I also believe it can be a hit this this summer so I love it I hope you're gonna love it too so my friends this is it for me today thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this short video leave a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe before you go to turn that bell if you want to make sure not to miss the next one and until then thank you very much again have a great day and see you very soon cheers